Hello everyone. Today we're gonna do the first legal question. It's about two sum. So given an array of integer numbers and the target, return the indices of two numbers such as they added into a target. So let's draw it real quick. We do have an, an array of no, four numbers actually, 2, 7, 11, 15. And then the target is 9. So what is the output that we got? It should be finding any element in this array add up together will become 9. So we're going to write a little bit quickly in terms of the index. Uh, in the array, the index start with 0, 1, 2, 3. So right here, we can see that the va the first value is 2 and 7 add up together. We got 9. So the output has to be 0 and 1. First of all, there's one that's really popular um, hash map in Python that we can use. So we can iterate through every single element in this array and then we store it. So let's say we got, we can store in a hash map of like, um, so for value two, we, this is the index. This is the value. So we store index zero, one, and then this is seven so on so we can store like this um for the first element we will be able to store into the hash map so after we add that into our hash map we'll be able to check in the indices and now so it's a brush up a little bit your skill in enumerate in Python. So the next step is to find the complement. In the question, it gave you the targets of nine. And now we'll be able to deduct the current value, which is two, which is seven. And then if this seven is found in the hash map, this one, then we'll be able to return the value that we just iterate through is E, and then the we can say a position of the complement. Okay. Okay, so we start the coding path. Okay, so after having those information, now we start going to the coding part. In order to create a hash map, we can just create a dictionary. Just call it hash map. Python equal to square then we iterate through the array num for index and maybe it's, I call it value and in enumerate so if you haven't uh, familiar with the enumerate go back and search for it before you actually dive into the coding so after we enumerate it through we just add the value into our hash map uh, which is call value equal to i indexes and then we also need to calculate the complement it's not given by using the target minus the value and then if this complement is basically found within the hash map then we will be able to return it. We'll be able to return, like I explained in the video, the easiest way to remember is, this, um, is the index. And then the, sec the first one is the position of the complement. They will be able to easier for you to remember how to write it down 
sometimes like when you look at the solution but it's hard for you, you to understand it actually complement okay um because the base case is that if we don't have any value so we have gonna return an array okay let's run the code it's accepted submit okay 62.6 bit um, and also what is the complexities of this problem this provides a time complexity of all band because we need to iterate through um, every single element. Okay, good luck guys. See ya.